Today here, we're going to talk to Jason about one of his clients where the insurance company started out real slow, uh, but we were able to fight with him and get a, a policy limits offer at the end of the day. Um, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. Uh, my name is Shane Smith. I'm here today with uh, Jason, one of the attorneys from Shane Smith Law, to talk about his case uh, with his client, TT. So Jason, tell me a little bit about the uh, TT and, and how the accident occurred. Yeah, um, Shane, it was a, a rear end accident that happened back in February 4th of 2020. Uh, he was 51 at the time. Um, by the time we settled, he was 53. Um, and it was a property damage issue that was not uh, a total loss. However, it was a good result for him in the sense that the insurance company offered only, they considered $12,339. And, you know, through the course of our negotiations with State Farm, they were able to consider we had a shoulder strain when he went to the ER and we had a bunch of other stuff when he went to uh, Dr. Leland uh, or Dr. Lennon, excuse me, with, with, um, with the chiropractor. And then we were also getting him into uh, another doctor as well, which uh, was Dr. With Dr. Hayes with Carolina Bone and Joint. So they offered a very low offer to begin with, but we were able to chip away at it and give them all the other information to get to, you know, what they ultimately, what our client wanted, which is the limits. All right, so it sounded like they started out low, started arguing, maybe the shoulder was unrelated, Correct. or arguing if there were the bills, and it sounds like you and your team had to go back, or not go back, but go at them with the information that basically says, no, you guys are in the wrong. You know, he got this from the initial impact, the emergency room, uh, notes said he had a shoulder impact or a shoulder, you know, shoulder bruise or contusion from the very beginning. Correct. Yeah, because uh, the the initial the initial <clears throat> indications was a shoulder strain when he went to the hospital. Okay. And they they wanted to essentially say, hey, this stuff is not related. It's not a high impact, you know, rear end accident. So we're not going to pay anything over about a couple thousand over the initial meds. Okay. And basically, our firm, your firm, we we said, "Hey, now." So I sent a letter to them. I was like, "We're not, we're not going to deal with this." Good. And uh, did they did they immediately say, "Oops, we're wrong," or do you have to do an extended negotiations and fight with them with multiple letters or multiple contact and and something like that? There really was just one letter that had said, "Hey, this is the breakdown of what the doctors had said that he's experiencing." And, you know, as a result of your insured's negligence, tender the limits. And we did. All right. So I'm guessing in that letter, it was basically you you saying, look, this was in the ER bills. It, you know, this is where it's at. This is, you guys are just in the wrong. Um, and sort of a gotcha. You know, it's in the records. We've got the facts and evidence to support it. You're wrong. Is that right? Yeah. And, and, and part of the theory that we do here at Shane Smith Law is to say, hey, you have to put your insured on notice that we will go after you if you don't pony up essentially what the case is valued at. And, right. and we did that and, you know, it worked out to our benefit. I thought you said earlier in the, earlier in the call that the insurance company offered their policy limits. Um, so what did the client think about that after uh, he got the initial offer versus where you ended up at? Well, the, the initial offer, I believe, was very low. I don't have that directly in front of me because, again, they were considering $12,339, and I believe it was about eighteen grand. Uh -huh. uh, building up, up to fifty. dollars um, The client was extremely happy, extremely Good. happy with the firm um, and, and just the job that we did as a, as a group, as a team. Well, it, it sounds like you and your team did a great job, especially if that initial offer came in low to, to convince them they were wrong. Um, or that, you know, they needed to pay, that it was unfair. Uh, it sounds like the client was happy with the uh, end result and probably with the effort that you and your team put into place to, to fight the insurance company as well. So it sounds like a great result overall uh, for TT and, and for your team. Yeah, I mean, I, it, it could not have gone any better in the sense of just the treatment path that the client took. So I'm, I'm very happy with, you know, my team 
and when the firm and the client is extremely happy. Right. Is there anything you learned from this case that you're going to be able to use in the future uh, or you or your team? I think it's just digging in your heels. I mean, I, right. I, can't, it, I can't say it any more simple. <laughs> you just dig yeah. in your heels and because, you know, these insurance carriers, they, they know what they're doing, but we also know what we're doing. All right. Well, that sounds wonderful, Jason. And thanks for talking to us today. And to our listeners, I want to say thanks for listening. Remember, if you're in pain, call Shane, 980-999-9999. Or you can order our free book, The Victim Survival Guide to Car Accidents at shanesmithlaw.com. I will be talking about another case next week or another learning point from one of our attorneys. Um, hit the subscribe button so you get updates and know what's going on. Thanks a lot today, guys. Thanks, Thank Jason. You. Bye-bye now. Bye. Nine eight zero nine 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 nine